Oop. What was that? Oh. If nothing else, I could probably... Oh, what's that? A treasure map, you reckon? Oh, wouldn't that be sweet? Are we searching for it? It's a hidden treasure map. So, yes? And now we know this game has treasure maps in it. We just keep learning new things, don't we? Is that icon below me? No, my car's right there. Is that the symbol for... Oh, that's the waypoint I must have put on the ground. It's just weirdly subterranean for some reason. Oh, who are you? Hey there. Maybe you sell cars, kits. Just food? Not so lucky, huh? Bye now. Perhaps not. So where did the car thing sh the It's not how you do that. Quest. Scraps of mystery. Level 9. Where was it located? Way up here? Yeah, way uphill. Okay. I want to level up a little bit, just because of the level of it. Be careful about that. But I'm not seeing a lot of people around to buy from. Let's check this, uh... There's a building over here. Oh, what was that? Oh, that was probably just the car. I thought for a moment there that I could check the, uh, check that. Oh, there's a bunch of cars over here. Maybe there'd be a repair kit? Perhaps not. Use the billboard sign? Looks like it. Huh. I thought, I thought there was going to be a big building over here based on the map. Oh, you can stay here for 30. Yeah, might as well. It's bedtime. Sounds good. It'll be safer when the sun comes up. ACA. These royal characters are all like, oh, a trailer home, how quaint. Is this how the normals live? <laughs> Look at this, they have dials that they have to turn with their own hands. They don't even have servants for it. This is incredible. What do they do, sit down with gravity? That's adorable. They use gravity to sit in chairs. They still use that, isn't that amazing? They, they have nothing. Level me, yes. That was more or less what I was hoping for. We have uh, we have made zero progress with Noctis' fishing skill. I should probably feel bad, or, bad about that. How are we doing on photos? Whoa! I'm taken. <laughs> That's kind of neat looking. That's a little hard to make out. Look at you. Yeah, I know. Why you gotta be so photogenic? He says about an awkward, like, back-of-the-head photo. Hmm. <laughs> so these must be- are these genuine photos? These are genuine photos of things I did. That's funny. Is he actually running around in the background and constantly taking photos? He can't, no, he can't be, because we never posed here. I never posed with him. I'll grab that one. That's a decent photo. Not sure about the other stuff, really. I wonder if they're like a weird uh, mix of like actual photos of things that you did and then weird like made up photos of locations you were at. Because some of the details are like not quite, they don't quite make sense all the time. Alright, so we're going to go do dust to dust right down there. We can't leave them. We can't leave them to be forgotten. These poor dead people. And should be able to drive pretty close to there too. I'm lazy, so I will drive everywhere. I don't give a crap. Oh, there's even a parking spot. How convenient. It didn't take me there. Parking spot? There we go. Oh, it's a fast travel spot. That's kind of neat. So I, I guess that means I'll just, like, magically show up there? What is that? Demons, vicious creatures, they appear in the dead of night. 
seeking their next unsuspecting victims. These ferocious fiends fear only the light of the sun and the holy aura of the havens. Great range of wares here. Paradise for a technophile like you. Here we are. Popped right up at the gas station. You know what? They might... Yeah. This is the type of place where they might be able to get a repair kit. Let's try to grab that. Good to see you again. In fact, this might be the exact location we saw the previous one. Yeah. I'll grab a few of these, just in case. Much appreciated. Be prepped for the next few people that have problems. Advanced color samples. It's really expensive. Hammerhead sticker. Bow arts. I just need to figure out how to customize it exactly. That's the that's what I'm missing here. Thank you kindly. Oh wait. Have yourselves a good Actually, I think I can sell treasures. Treasures. Whoa. Saber tusk claws. Eight hundred and ten just for that. Neat. Much appreciated. It's gotta be a way to skip to the end, right? Oh wait, that's a bad example. I only had one of those. So how do I skip to uh, all the way to five? Pressing left doesn't skip. Up and down, bumpers, triggers. You might have, oh, you can hold it down and it'll, it'll skip. Interesting. Wait. Wait. My repair kits are treasures, but those are useful. So maybe a mistake to sell treasures then, based on that. Huh. Please come again. Well, well, we'll learn as we go. You see this, Noct? What about it? What's it? What is it? Master Zero Friction, life length, 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 uh, life lengthening, heavy duty rust remover. They've got everything here. Did we do the same dialogue thing last time I came here? Take a look at this. Take what about it? What? What do you want me to look at? The perfect pots and pans for your next camping trip. Can't. Find what you need, ask our staff. Hey, let's see what they've got for sale. We've already brought everything we need. I guess they're shopping. You see this, Noct? Oh, are they, about it. are they gonna keep doing that? I think they're gonna keep doing that. Monster mutation, dangerous dual horns. Str something strange is happening to the beasts. <laughs> You're so studious. I'm so studious, you pointed it out to me. Weird. I should probably refuel. Ah, that's cheap. So fuel costs like nothing in this game. What is, what is this impossible future universe? Yeah, I guess I did come exactly back where Cindy was. Because here she is. <sighs> All pretty again. Take care of her, you hear? That's a lot of service for 10 gil. She cleaned up the car. The tank is now full. Now get out of here. So the garage is probably how I customize it, right? What's in here? Phoenix down. Maybe nothing else, just kind of a dead end. I'll probably talk to Sid if I want to customize anything. If that's even how this works. Uh. How y'all doing? Or we can't talk to him. Stand up straight, boy. No, nope, not really. You? Oh, while I got gotcha. you. If y'all want to fix her up before you roll out, let me know. There we go. What are y'all after today? What coat do you fancy? You go deep sea blue or ivory. Does it cost money? Zero. Okay. Can't see it anyway. Uh, decals. Well, here's what I can do for her. There's a 16-bit buddies. There's and then we go for two-tone. The yeah. My car. Anything you like? My car. My, my car's not stupid anymore. <laughs> go on, pick a color. That's deep sea blue. That's ivory. What coat do you fancy? I'm not entirely sure which one I prefer. Go on, pick a color. I do kind of like the distinction here. Anything in mind for the interior? We have a lot of interior colors, black and white, wanna brown, dark rose, cranberries and cream, <laughs> gilded orchid, 
deep sea blue, forest green. Whoa, they keep going. I guess they didn't want to sell any of these off. They just wanted to give them an old tea right away. Let's try yellow. What coat do you fancy? Uh, can I change the perspective? No. I want to try to see it with the, uh... That might be alright. I want to see it with the hood down, because they, they put the hood down when they're actually driving it. Anything you like? You'll have to get better decals if I want to change them to anything else. How do you want the wheels? You can change the colors of these two. The options are there. Maybe a faint yellow. If I'm going to continue with that theme. Night Star Gold. Not a terrible idea. I do wonder if there's a fainter. Was our gold in here? Maybe the beige? That's alright. The important thing is it's not covered in ridiculous looking characters, because that was that was a bit silly. How's this? Y'all leave the hard work to me. There we go. She's all ready for you. Have a look. Yeah, I look I like looking at that. How did I get down I did something wrong. I clicked on a parking spot. And it fast- I thought I was gonna fast travel to the parking spot. I fast traveled all the way down here back to Cindy. Well... I guess we're going for another drive! Well, now that I've got the, uh... I can at least help the unlucky driver, now that I've... grabbed that. There's the poor guy. It should be a nice change of pace. <laughs> I run away without closing my own door. <laughs> he closed it for me. <laughs> hey, buddy. What a relief. Thank you. I'd call that a job well done. Hey. You get decent chunks of experience for this stuff. I took off and, uh... I totally took off and, uh... And rested overnight, though, didn't I? So he's been through a lot, hasn't he? Weird. I clicked on the same parking spot and did a fast travel, but this time it actually took me here. So now I'm just wondering what I did wrong last time. Huh. How did I manage to warp in the complete wrong direction and end up at Cindy's quick one? I could have sworn I was clicking on that specific base. Dagger goals? What are we gonna do? Oh, I can't zoom in on them. <laughs> are they too far away? Did those things attack also? I'm curious now. It won't let me leave or anyone. It must just not be close enough or something. Well, here's the dog tag area. Yep, there's a... It's probably right around here. An Anak calf. It's weak against spears and broadswords and lightning. But a dagger girl, can I find one of those? That's a calf. There's a dagger girl. Weak against uh, guns and fire and daggers. Maybe it's a chance to trap my gun. Can I shoot it from here? I doubt it. Yeah, it's, it's trying to auto-path to it. So you have a hiding spot you can use here. Oh, there we go. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Thought I'd give it a shot. But he's not interested in fighting me right now, so it's kind of hard to contact the hits. Oh yeah, the damage is happening though. Oh, hello. Ow. They got mad. How are we? Getting by. Warp attack with a gun, apparently. I don't it doesn't work that way. Parry. I just I just did a parry gun strike. Where'd you learn that? There we go. Now I'm doing it correctly, apparently. Must destroy dagger goal. At all cost. You deserve this! There we go. Anyone else? So the gun's not working here, although I can totally just pepper them incessantly from this distance, and there's not really much penalty for it. So you're weak against what? Spears and broadswords. Let's have some fun. Oh, he's high level. Oh, he, it's because he's not he's not a cub like the other ones were. Oh, 
yeah, everyone else is much more vulnerable, but there's, yeah, there's two big tough ones here. That's probably, this, this must be why it was level, a level 9 quest. I pressed the wrong button just now, like really badly. Oh, he'd go down. Or could not warp correctly. I apparently messed up the warp attack. There we go. Ow. Yeah, I keep messing up the block. And now the calves are down. Maybe they're maybe they're gonna be pissed. So I'm killing their children now. Come get me. There we go. Let's make a mess. There's the follow-up attack. I go for the re go for a blind side if I can. Oops, got a little AOE in at least. There's a blind side link. There we go. Watch out, he's gonna kick me in the face if I keep doing that. <laughs> blind side, I think. Maybe not. There it is. Now it is. That finished him off. Anyone else around? Oh, there's a calf over there. Let's sneak in and get him before he gets away. There we go. No more family for wildlife. Ow. Bad idea. Bad idea. You know, you might be able to counter if you start pairing properly. You might be able to counter if you start pairing properly. Defend when the marker appears to parry incoming attacks. Parry and attack uh, creates an opening. Prince strike. Yeah. I need to practice that or something. Something about its timing or its controls is somehow not clicking with me yet. Can I warp into a tree? I'm curious. No, I can't. Alright. Oh, is he down? Not yet. There we go. That'll hurt. Oops. <laughs> Gotta get the lock-on button straight in my head. There's a blind side combo. Blind side. Damn. It's pretty easy to do against the bigger targets. There we go. I'm dying of thirst here. A plus on finesse and, and offense. There's yeah, that. We're all very much alive. Yeah, we're doing A-OK -okay right here. Let's go find these dog tags. They're by the tree? Plants are, at least, so I'll grab those. Lead in pepper. Gotcha. And somewhere around here we'll find what we came... There it is. All right, another tag in the bag. How does he know where the dog tags are if they're lost? If they're lost people, I kind of expected the dog tags to be like a, I don't know, like one of those things that you just find out about in the background, like a. What am I trying to say? Like like a collectible. I thought they'd be like collectibles that just you find them at random. Like oh, I better take them back to that guy. He likes to get the dog tags for his dead comrades and everything. But instead, the dog tags are taking a slightly stranger form, where uh, this guy like knows exactly where they are and sends me me off to find them. In any other context, I'd be slightly suspicious. Like, did you kill them? How do you know exactly where they died? That's getting weird. A little lightning stuff over here. Let's go grab that. Hey there, Gammy. Element C. Oh, is that ice near? Oh, there's ice elements off here. If those are here, I'm, I'm guessing there's probably a haven nearby. Probably right up on that slope we're near. Let's check. Is this a haven up here? Yeah, it is. The Entathena. The Entathena uh, haven. There it is. Well, can we level up yet? Nope. You want to make camp? So I'm not in a, not in a hurry to, to uh, make camps. So we can't level up yet. Is this gonna hurt? Nope. He did the action roll, so he's a okay. 
Yeah, I'll definitely grab these while I can. Here we go. Oh. What was he just reacting to? Huh? He says. Real nice here. Indeed. He might just be reac reacting to the camp. All right. Let's go back to the car and head up to the guy that sent me on this mission in the first place. We need to replenish our supply of curatives. Gotcha. Do we need to replenish our curatives? I haven't been buying them, but I also feel like we haven't been losing any either. Look at these ruins over here. Oh, there's something in here. One potion. Huh. Oh, what's that? Oryx Culinary Chronicle 1, Entry 3. New friends. Just as I think I'm getting to, uh, the hang of hunting, they send me up here to some mountain and cl and clean? Clean? Cleek, nah. <laughs> to find some lost fella from Lestalum. And I get half lost myself. No ordinary mountain, neither. This here is a fire-spewing volcano. Climbed up and crawled through every inch of this rocky held to finally find what I came for. A little fella uh, curled up next to a big pool of liquid hot magma. Said he'd been up here for two whole days. Doesn't look like he'll be making it down the mountain under, uh, under his own power. Oh, new recipe. Huh. So we can pick up cooking uh, stories and get recipes out of that. There's a lot stashed around here. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't sell that kind of stuff off. Y'all done good. Whoever owned that tag's probably breathing a sigh of relief right about now. Now they're dead. They're not breathing at all. That's not how that works. Sorry, insensitive? <laughs> Damn, we're up to a thousand. We're in the early part of the game where it feels substantial. <laughs> I'm sure that before long, these sums of experience will not feel like a big deal. And they'll be like, eh, whatever. But right now, I'm like, whoa, look at all that experience. So I think I might have figured out... I think I figured out what's going on with the uh, the clock in the corner of the screen. I think that's a clock. Uh, next to the minimap, it says 16, and it has a semicircle that's orange. I think that they mean it's 1600 o'clock right now, uh, meaning that's uh, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And that the I think the icon means sunset, but I could be wrong. I'm not really entirely sure. I'm just trying to make sense of that because it just kind of plopped that onto the screen at one point. Anything to look out for around here? Nah. Not particularly. Let's see. We have enough experience to level up everyone in the party to level eight, which would not be a terrible idea because one of our next things to go for is a scrap quest. Level nine. Scraps of Mystery 2. Huh. Maybe I can take it right now, and then I'll stack the experience together and get even more uh, next time I rest. Especially if I go back to that place that gives me a 1.5 multiplier instead of a 1.2. That'd be that's probably a good idea. Let's save. I haven't saved for a while. The game does autosave decently often, I think. Yeah, this one saved three minutes ago. So it's not bad at, at, at autosaving. But I should still make a save every now and then. Just to have control. I haven't saved in almost two hours. Oh my goodness. What am I doing with myself? Let's see. Can I drive over there? Is there a road? Uh, no. Nah, that's a dirt path. We're gonna have to run for it. Yeah, I'll do this one last task. And then I'll go back and try resting. And here. see how much experience Claudia, we get from that. Come. Gotcha. And then we'll see where that goes. At that point, it might be... Oh, wasn't paying attention to my stamina bar. Uh, if I take care of this, it might be time to then go on with the main story, because the only other quest I know about is that, that bounty that was level 14. I would not be completely surprised if I could do it, but maybe I should continue the main story a little bit before I do that kind of thing. Keep your distance or die. Vicious varmints and dangerous demons. It's got a... Nasty goblin icon, basically. Which path is the best way? Oh, the other one loops back, so we gotta go here into the danger zone. To the danger zone! <laughs> Ooh, there's a few paths around here. Oh, and a, totally. 
I keep looking at the scenery and that makes me not look at my uh, stamina bar to do the, the uh, quick refresh thing. And bloop. What's that? It's like siege weapon? Oh, it's a tank. That is like a siege weapon. Neat. This looks like a prison or something. Okay, that time I clicked it, but I was too early, I think, and it disabled my ability to do so. It turns out you can get away with running a lot. Even if you mess up the active reload, you can go back to sprinting before long. Oh, there we go. It's a high elixir stashed up here. So what does the, the mining icon mean? Oh. <laughs> The color's amazing. You can just pick up gold dust right <laughs> off the floor. It's listed as a mining icon, but I don't think we're really equipped to mine. This is the K Catherich Trench Dungeon. Bioblaster. Well, I'm not gonna be in a hurry to go into a dungeon right now. I'm sure someone will have, give me a reason to at some point, so I might as well wait till that happens. Unless the treasure's gonna do that. They stashed a lot of items around in this game. Might save me a lot of money from having to actually buy anything. Is it dangerous after dark around here? Most likely. We'd best ponder our lodgings as we go. What? I think they're warning me about the fact that it's getting dark. Chrome bit. But that was apparently not the location on the scrap of paper. Okay, then let's look for the scrap of paper. Uh, check. Mystery map. Old worn map. Certain locations circled. Yeah, can I look at it? Uh, I don't appear to be able to look at it, which is weird. Because you'd think that'd be the point. Um, oh, oh wow, that's a lot of completed quests now. I don't see a way to look at the map. It's just this vague area circled. Okay. Um, it's getting sunsetty, so I'm gonna want to get out of here soon before I get in some trouble. So let's, let's see. There was ruins over there. A lot of ruins, though. Now we're kind of leaving the circle. There is treasure over here. All right, you got my you got my interest. <sighs> There it is. Giant hairy horn. Ooh. Horns can be hairy? <laughs> Alright, but I'm not sure what I'm missing out on here. It's, is it the dungeon itself? I'm not sure if even the dungeon is represented by this circle, actually. Maybe down here. Oh, that's probably it. Is this it? This doesn't look like treasure. A one bit. It looks like a map. Or part of one. So we got a high elixir and we got a piece of Sylvester's map. That sounds like the beginning of something. And the quest has vanished. So I wonder if we collect all of the pieces of Sylvester's map and that adds up to something. A curious fragment of map discovered on the location marked on the previous map. More pieces are needed to read the text. So if I find multiple mystery maps, perhaps I can find all the pieces of Sylvester's map, and that actually leads to some kind of special loot. Alright. For now, though, I think I'm going to back out of here. Maybe we'll head down to a location where I can get a good night's sleep and take advantage of this experience we have ex that we can get here. Look at all these lights! What a relief! Indeed. They ought to keep the demons at bay. Yeah, you may not be able to manually drive- uh, you may not be able to have him auto-drive at night, but you can fast travel at night. And that's what happened. Huh. We were able to fast travel right back to this place. This is nice. And apparently all these lights keep the uh, demons at bay. What now? I thought it said fruit. <laughs> Looking for a place to stay, ain't ya? Yeah, we are. Give me that ex experience bonus. It's bedtime. What's it worth? <laughs> C, A plus, A plus. I'm not entirely sure what it's, when I rest, I'm not entirely sure what it's trying, what, what it's basing all these scores on. 
Alright, how's this gonna work out? Come on, come on. Ooh, everyone got to level 9. So it was totally worth paying the extra. Hey, skill level up. New filter, memory. Yeah, you basically just photo level up photography on, on just out automatically. Ignis isn't getting any cooking because I'm not I'm not camping enough. I should probably start camping. <laughs> and I don't even know how to fish yet. We'll have to figure that one out. Hey, that's a nice photo. I'll take I'll keep that one. Oh yeah, I can view them manually too. Whoa. That catches the attention. Well taken. Yeah, not bad. It's just funny how much this vaguely feels like a weird Pokemon Snap, uh, oh. Dead Rising kind of thing. Poor guy's never in any of, his, of the pictures, because he's taking them all. That's a terrible photo. <laughs> That's, this is a bad photo and you should feel bad. <laughs> well, this is great. Look at that, ac look at that action shot. Me warping in the middle of this nightmare scenario. Well, we were killing their babies. Alright, I think at long last, the next thing on the table is going to be to actually follow up on the main quest. Gotta head to Galden Quay. This seem, seems like decent long-term investments to go for. Enhance potency by 10 when crafting spells. The effects of similar abilities do not stack. And then here's a nice one. Gain AP for using Elementcy. I like that idea. So now whenever I craft spells, I'll also gain AP, which helps me progress further down various trees and stuff like that. Get an extra spell when crafting. That's expensive. <laughs> it's very expensive. Potency by 30, also quite expensive. Let's go for absorbing more energy. There we go. This will boost my ability to deal with magic in this game a bit. Speaking of which, let's look into that a little bit, shall we? So we have a bunch of lightning. So the way this works is that when the moment you put any of it in there, you're immediately crafting three thunder. So that's what that one thing meant when it said that you could get an additional spell, I, be I believe, means that I'd get four casts instead of three. So then, then, then the next thing is that I can keep pumping more of it in there if I want to, and it'll get a potency of 89. Now I'm a little iffy about this particular thing, because it's cool that I can pump it up and down, but I have no clue at all uh, how much I'd want to put in there. So I don't know, maybe we'll start with like 30? Just to give it a shot? Because I have no idea how else to do this. Wait, I don't know how to, how to do it actually. Let's see. Crafting a spell requires elemental energy and an empty flask, a magic flask. A catalyst can also be added to imbue uh, one of many effects. Adjust it. You get a higher tier spell if you go if you make it over a hundred. Choose an item to serve as a catalyst. Oh, I think maybe I'm supposed to scroll down to the bottom to do it. Uh, the type of catalyst determines spell's effects. The quantity influ influences the spell's level, potency, and number of uses. Spells possess the following four properties: type, potency, effect level, and number of uses. History is kept of all spells that have been crafted. Press triangle to review the list and quickly craft more of the same. If you wish to uh, free up a flask, press left stick to discard a spell. Note that the elemental energy and catalyst items will not be restored. So don't waste it. Do I go down here? Oh, you go down here to hit craft. Okay. I was trying to figure out how to... Do I have a... Oh, I can add the things. Oh. Interesting. So you add a phoenix down and it makes a three chain, a tri-cast. High Elixir, a lot of tri-cast here. Venom cast with an antidote. It's a, it's a, it's a thunder imbued with poison. Smite the enemy while healing the caster if you use a high potion. Interesting variations here. I'm a little worried about uh, what the level means. Do I have to be that level? I assume not, that'd be weird. Because these are relatively basic things. Let's try mixing in a potion just to try it out for example. And then try crafting it. Alright, healing level 25, thunder. Cool. We'll store that for now. That's 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 something I have now. That's how you craft. 
Uh, is, it a, is it a good spell? I have no idea. <laughs> That'll take some experimentation to get an idea of what to expect from potency, because that's just a, it's a number I don't have anything to, uh, to compare with yet.